I have... Puzzles are hard with the achievement I just got. Alright, so now I've got... What is the contract for? The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. Hmm. I'm not sure what I actually need to do with that. Okay. I still need a smile. How do I make a smile on a mummy? The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. I should have probably looked at that before. Let's go give it to Edison. Micro Why is your answer to everything to microwave it? What do you suppose happened to Hamilton and Madison? Yes, I'm certain we told them to come on Thursday. I'll wager Madison's with that woman who makes the cupcakes again, and Hamilton's probably gotten himself into another fight. I bet they show up late and take all the credit for our work. Because violence is more fun than cooking things from the inside out. That's why I don't always get a microwave it. All right, here, have a book to read. You want to borrow this great book? Is it lightweight and waterproof? Uh, no. Then I have no use for it. Hmm, okay, I thought it would be useful to him. All right, we'll try the other scientist person in the house. Gonna figure it out. Oh, hang on, no, 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 no. We want to go down here. I got this. I just love how you always see his butt crack when you go downstairs and stuff. How about you? Although limited to a low pressure sub zero nitrogen free environment, the flux induction circuit can still be quite useful. Stop! That book's starting to put me to sleep. Maybe I read it to the horse. I gotta put someone to sleep. I'm gonna figure out which one. How do you put the horse? I know you gotta get the teeth from the horse. I'm just not entirely sure how. I didn't mean to go in here. Hmm. Alright, we'll try reading the book to him. Ahem. <clears throat> The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous electric hey. grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 Take the dentures. Thank you, and we're going to send them 400 years in the future for a mummy to win a competition. <sighs> Alright. With mummy. Oh, that is horrifying. Hey, right. don't you think you should judge best smile again? Oh, alright. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh. I like the quiet one with the big teeth. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agree. Hey, two down. <laughs> My mummy is gonna win this competition. Okay. Next one. Hey, don't you think you should judge best laugh again? Oh, all right. <laughs> They're just like wobbles. Whereas the others like suction hop. Okay, who's got a joke? 
I know. Why did the human cross the road? Because his tentacle owner told him to. <laughs> wow, that's a bad joke. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agree. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. Yay! He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. Winning is better. Win the human contest with a mummy. <laughs> Well, uh. Ted, hey, this is it's okay, I fixed it. <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity, even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years. I think you're my favorite Edison. Oh, okay. I don't think so. But. I don't think so. Aha, I know. No, I don't want post, I want to go through the door. We gotta go give the jailer the certificate. So let's go do that. Oops, wrong room. That's the doctor's office. Panel. Okay. So he keeps whinging about wanting to go to this restaurant, so we'll give that to him. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. Hang on, wasn't he hitting on me before? Oof. You're free! Free to do what? Mm. <laughs> to run wild through the woods like humans should. Big deal. You said you're free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Hey, look, a skunk. <laughs> Come back here, you mangy humans! You can't do this! This is an escape-proof facility! Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? Good riddance. Looks abandoned. I can't fit in there. Probably just the tentacles winter, uh, winter. I'm not interested in tentacle junk. I 
can't fit in there. What I need now is a vacuum cleaner. Now, why isn't there a vacuum cleaner down here? Every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. There's a face print on the glove. I hope it's sprung for good. I don't think so. Nah, the um, mic just gets a bit dodgy sometimes, which is a little annoying. Okay, is there anything? Use it? It's unplugged. What? Well, no, it's plugged in, it just has no power. Okay, um, how do I get a vacuum? How do I send the trophy back to the past? Hmm. I'd rather not. Okay. I'm stuck. What do I do? Uh, all right. Let's go back to. do in this spot now. I'm a little stuck. So the guy that needs gold is the scientist in the past. I also need to order a diamond. But I don't have enough money for it. He doesn't, Didn't he need iron? or um, No, so... I think I need iron for Edison to make the kite, and I need gold for the guy making the battery. So I'm, I'm stuck. Hey, what's up, Bernard? Um, uh, not much, actually. Still saving the world and all that. Oh, well, good <laughs> luck, then. Wow, you were super useful. How do I get my hamster back? Trophying to recycle a thing. Oh yeah! Alright, let's go do that. Make smaller gold item. Um I thought the um what do you call it? The trophy was gold, but it mustn't be. I don't think so. Nah, that might be useful. Okay, okay, we'll use the hubcap. Sure, I guess I won't be needing it. Oh, I do have it now. Okay, so I put it in there, what do I do? Uh, use it. I don't think I can do that. 
let's go and see if we can order the diamond at least. Go on here because there's a phone. Alright, we're going to use the phone. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. Okay, so I have to go to the pass and get money in his account. So let's go back to the past guy. Swiss bank book. Huh. No, it's not with the twins. Hmm. Is it? It is. I'd rather not. How do I? Hmm, who do I give it to? Um. Do I give it to the tentacle? Do you mail? Oh, maybe you do mail it off. That makes sense. Smart cookie. It would have taken me ages to figure that out. I don't want to be in creepy, creepy honeymoon room. Okay. Oops. You mail something off. Yeah, it's probably the flyer for the vacuum. With the Pony Express. Now, wouldn't you mail it now? Because it wouldn't be useful in the past. And she's in I'd the future. Not. Really? Signed contract? It's no use. We've already missed the deadline. Okay, so you send the contract in the past. Huh? What do I want? Do I have to drive? How long until I get there? Yes. Yee, I'm getting burgers! Okay. I still haven't figured out how to get the vacuum into the future. But we're gonna mail off the thing. Are you sure we don't need to add anything about huh? hideous, slimy, super intelligent tentacles? Breaking the lock, turn tomato tonight, please. Mm, I kind of want Wooper, but I don't know. Sorry, asking about burgers. All right, let's see if this mail's off. I doubt they'll take it without a style. That isn't Cheeky Royale. Definitely a whopper. I need a stamp. Crap. And you know where there's stamp? <sighs> hmm. If only I knew a stamp collector that doesn't. Oh, well, he's gonna go ballistic, Kathy. No, no, no! I didn't want to go in there. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, have this. I'd rather not. <laughs> you have ice blocks. Fuck yes! Awesome. Hmm. So we've got to get money to the present day from past. We need to get a vacuum cleaner into the future. Um. What else? We gotta post a thing in the past. We gotta get the stamp from now. 
Give me. Hey, don't touch my stamps. Give me. Hey, don't touch my stamps. Okay, I'm gonna have to talk. Pony Express stamps. Yes, not the mm. most valuable kind, but they have a lot of sentimental value to me. Uh. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them. <laughs> well, so oh, I no, I know what excited. I have to do. Bye. Peace be with you. I know what I have to do. Who has it, though? Uh, I think you have it. Hey, buddy. Can I have that invisible ink? This is going to end bad. Hey, want to see a neat trick? Sure. This is where I die. Neat, huh? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You ruined my Pony Express stamp. <laughs> Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those. <laughs> Negative feelings. Well, now I have a stamp. It looks like all the inks disappeared now. It looks like all the inks no, disappeared now. I wanted to now. pick it up. Okay. <laughs> I've picked up 45 things that don't belong to me. So we need to send the stamp to the past. Put the stamp on the letter and mail it. Whoa! <coughs> Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This <sighs> is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million in back royalties. Hey. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron. When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent. This is an emergency. We're in a pandemic. You can't go traveling. <sighs> okay. Now I can order the diamond at least. So that's something. Alright, telephone. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, I yeah, need to buy a diamond. it's old. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? I have an ATM card. Eh, still, you wouldn't want to get a get the flu while you're traveling. When I got it, it seemed so useful. Hmm? I just missed one. Oh. Oh, I can just like, I did not know I could do that. Did, did I? Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. I should have been paying uh, attention. I want to buy a diamond. That will be $2 million. Do you have a major credit card? Card? Of course I have a card. What do you think I am? Some kind of geek? Oh, card I sent it to the other guy. It's, um... Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna get the the thing back from the past because I didn't need to send it to him. My bad. Uh, to you. Let's go back to you. Right. Couch potato shopping now it'll work. channel. Wanda speaking. Um, <laughs> I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, 
It's 846-427-3527. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond Flush. by Taco Post Lightspeed Quiet the diamond. immediately. Thank you for calling. That now was fast. That service. I still need to figure out how to get the vacuum into the future. I better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. <laughs> Can we bring back my friends now? We've repaired the primary device. But before we can do anything, both time pods must be energized as well. Then we can bring Maybe. back uh, what's his name and who's her face. Who's Holy her Emperor. face? Yes, fine specimen. This dude is insane. Okay. So you reckon the flyer needs to go to the future? Let's try it. What do I use the help wanted for? It has no door. Use it? No. Okay. Let's figure out this vacuum thing. Pretty sure it's something that has to be done in the past, though. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. It needs to go to the past. I have to put it in the suggestion box. Jesus, it took me too long to figure that out. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. A poor hamster. Gets frozen, nuked, and now I'm about to suck it up with a vacuum cleaner. Does it have anything to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. Hmm. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yeah, they wouldn't even know what a vacuum it's cleaner strange. is. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good. And so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? There we go. <laughs> 